So uh, today I'm going to talk about the topics about testing production. Uh, this is the uh, emerging topic when we actually bring the DevOps into the DevOps culture into a company. And I actually had a subtitle uh, calling moving the needles will drive the technical change in, uh, in inside the company. We, as the end user, not like a vendor, not like uh, uh, other infrastructure engineer, I would like to think application development in a different perspective. As a, a modern application stack, we move, firstly move monolithic application to cloud. We actually leverage different cloud vendors to build native apps. We microservice different backends. We build SPA applications. On S3 were different kind of uh, buckets and also leverage CDN to uh, talk to the audience uh, across the world. So the application stack got changed. And uh, with that kind of mindset, uh, we need to rethink the fail fast uh, philosophy, which is called to the agile process. This is a very, this is the new, this is a new concept, the way to rethink the, the things existing in a different world. So DevOps actually has two camps. One is Dev Head, the other one is Ops Head. With Dev Head, you actually always thinking, go Docker, go Kubernetes, go Service Mesh. But with Ops Head, you always think about the CVE problems, or you think about the capacity planning, or you think about the on-core issues every single day. And also, like we talk about the CICD, which I did mention last year, uh, the CICD is just like putting all these testing efforts to shipping the products in a faster way, right? So you have unit tests in the, in the, in the, in the round, and you have component tests, integration tests, API tests in the middle, and you have GUI tests above. Sometimes you also have manual testing to find out the bugs. When we talk about testing production, this is critical because every single piece is going to sit in one environment. But we also have DevOps tools to facilitate of the testing process as well. Because we have logging, we have monitoring, we have alerting. With those tools, these kind of vertical can be shipping into one pyramid. So testing production is about just one environment, about every services or every, uh, every environment, every, everything, because you don't need to have third party tools to talking to your different environments. You don't need to have one dashboard to include so many different pieces. When you have problems, when you have on-core issues, you don't know what is the best metrics to communicate out. And also with this one environment, you can involve your tests to better suit for your case, for your application development. Think about the tests is also code. Code needs maintenance. That actually brings the feature flags. What is the feature flag? Feature flags is about you actually have the things that you want to roll out and the things that you want, don't want the users to see. It's about versioning. It's about routing the logic to the right backend to the right uh, source of truth. So feature flag one one is just to uh, have the, uh, the rollout to different account. For example, in our case, we have uh, a feature uh, tax calculations to some, uh, some of the countries. We need to use leverage the IP address to find out the country uh, to determine the feature is suitable to the user or not. Sometimes you have GDPR issue that you don't want to roll out the features to the European audience until, it's, until, until you get figure out the GDPR problems. The, the advanced usage of feature flags is about killing the features. You have legacy code, you have monolithic applications code sitting in the back end for like 10 years. You want to kill that, but nobody in the team understands the code. So you want to put a feature flag, wrap that, to make sure the code can be safe to kill. And the, another way to think about the feature flag is you can wrap the features depending on your use case. Sometimes the feature is around member, sometimes the feature is around a high level member. Uh, you can also use feature flags to do that. The canary release 
is about traffic migration, uh, so that we can actually have pipeline to shift the traffic from production to the shadow traffic. Feature flag is about 10 on, 10 off. Canary is about the pipeline work to have the uh, test suites uh, tested against the different teams uh, uh, pipeline. The, the final piece I want to talk about is the logs, metrics, and traces. You're probably going to hear a lot in uh, other uh, situations, but the concept-wise is logs about aggregation, time series view. The metrics is about the performance, is about testing the certain piece of function code. The trace is, is uh, easy, easy way is pinpoint down the different transaction of microservice in the large picture. We also leverage tra tra open, tra we also let's leverage traces between front and the back end so that we can identify uh, the issues for the users. So when we actually test in production, you need to consolidate the uh, understanding. You need to evolve in the uh, dashboard for the better use case to find out the bottleneck. And the, with that, with that, uh, we can actually involve in the, 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 the practice in the, in the long run. That's what I, what I want to share today. Thank you.